Oh. Uh, it's the uh, first time it hit when you're sitting on the bench like that. To just tried to turn to avoid the puck and it found its way up around my ear. What went behind the decision for you not to come into the game and just shut back into the game the other I night? was still being evaluated and stuff. I just didn't have a chance to get back in time. Chris, it's uh, a little uh, sad because you played a hell of a game before that puck hit you. Uh, yeah, it felt good. Uh, a lot better than the previous games. Had a little more energy and jump. And, uh, you know, felt like our team was doing the right things. Just, uh, unfortunate. Chris, you think a series like this, it's they, they play physical. Does that, does that suit you? Does that cater well to sort of what you like to get into with a series? Everybody plays their own game. It's, all, it's a team game, but you have to go out and produce and try to help your team as you can. Uh, try to get in there, four checks, try to you know, be that up and down guy. But um, you know, if they're going to be able to play that physical game. You obviously want to wear some of their D-man down. And hopefully that's something you can help do. Chris, where did the puck hit you? Just uh, above the ear. Yeah. You saw it coming in the I, You know what? You kind of have an inkling it's coming and just decided to turn your face and it comes in a little faster than you expected. You didn't lose any sense of hearing or anything. Um, you know, still trying to evaluate everything. Just uh, trying to go out there and see what's going on and uh, how your body reacts to a lot of stuff. Amazing. Did you have to do any concussion testing or anything? Yeah. Passed all that. I'm assuming so. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the craziest things that have happened to you going back to minor hockey? Uh, yeah, it's for, I mean, you sit on the bench, a lot of pucks come by. Uh, but I guess you saw in the Islanders' Tampa game too, a coach gets with a puck. It's just one of those freak things.